Welcome back to the Mathematics 23 Review Slides by UB Mathematics Club. In this video, we will be discussing problems involving application of double integrals. Before proceeding, I would like to remind everyone that you can pause and play back the video if you get confused in the process. Also, you can post your questions in the comments below. Now, Double integrals can be used to calculate the area of a region, the volume on their surface, and the mass. Moving on to the first problem, we have to set up the iterated double integral to find the area of the region R enclosed by the equation y is equal to the square root of 16 minus 4x squared and the lines y is equal to negative 3x and y is equal to x. Sketching the three equations using a graphing software, we have this graph. The area we are looking for is this area. Since the two lines intersect at the origin, we divide the region into two by the line x is equal to zero or the positive y-axis. Furthermore, finding the points of intersection of the two lines with the ellipse we get the values of x as 4 square root of 13 over 13 or negative 4 square root of 13 over 13 for when y is equal to negative 3x is intersected with the ellipse. And for when y is equal to x is intersected with the ellipse, we get 4 square root of 5 over 5 or negative 4 square root of 5 over 5. Moreover, when y is equal to negative 3x, we get the ordered pair 4 square root of 13 over 13, comma negative 12 square root of 13 over 13, and negative 4 square root of 13 over 13, comma 12 square root of 13 over 13. And when y is equal to x, we get the ordered pairs 4 square root of 5 over 5, comma 4 square root of 5 over 5, and negative 4 square root of 5 over 5, comma negative 4 square root of 5 over 5. Looking at our graph, we can have a negative value for y. So, when y is equal to negative 3x intersects the ellipse, it intersects at the point negative 4 square root of 13 over 13, comma 12 square root of 13 over 13. And when y is equal to x intersects the ellipse, it intersects at the point 4 square root of 5 over 5, comma 4 square root of 5 over 5. Let's take a look back at our graph. In this situation, it is better to use vertical strips. When using vertical strips for this area, we will get values of y from this line, y is equal to negative 3x, to this curve, y is equal to square root of 16 minus 4x squared. And for this area, we get y is equal to x, to y is equal to the square root of 16 minus 4x squared. Adding the area of these two, we will get the area of the region. So, using the vertical strips, we get the area equal to the double integral of dy dx integrated with these limits of integration with y from negative 3x to the square root of 16 minus 4x squared and x from negative 4 square root of 13 over 13 to 0 plus the double integral dy dx where y is integrated from x to the square root of 16 minus 4x squared and x from 0 to 4 square root of 5 over 5. Now, since we are only tasked to set up the iterated double integral, this will be our final answer. Moving on to the second problem, we have a surface S described by 2x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 4 
casts shadow described by the region R enclosed by the unit circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 and 9x squared plus 4y squared is equal to 4. What we are actually looking for is the surface area of 2x plus 2y plus 2z equals 4 that is bounded by the region enclosed by the unit circle and 9x squared plus 4y squared is equal to 4. So we have to find the surface area of the region directly above the shadow. The surface S is the portion of 4 is equal to 9x squared plus 4y squared above region R. Therefore, the area of the surface is given by the double integral of square root of 1 plus a partial derivative of z with respect to x squared plus partial derivative of z with respect to y squared dA. Solving for this, we have the area of the surface as 3 multiplied by the area of the region. Solving for the area of the region R, we have the double integral r d r d theta, where r is integrated from 0 to 1 and theta from 0 to pi over 2, minus the double integral dx dy, where x is integrated from 0 to 2 thirds, square root of 1 minus y squared, and y from 0 to 1. We got these values by looking at our graph from before. So, to get the area of this region, we will have to get the area of our unit circle minus the area of this equation from here. Moving on, integrating this with respect to r and x, we get 3 multiplied by the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1, of one half d theta minus the integral from 0 to 1 of 2 thirds square root of 1 minus y squared dy. Further integrating this with respect to d theta, we get 3 multiplied by pi over 4 minus 2 thirds times the integral from 0 to 1 square root of 1 minus y squared dy. Integrating with respect to y, we get 3 times pi over 4 minus 2 thirds multiplied by the quantity 1 half times sine inverse y plus y squared of 1 minus y squared. And evaluating this with the limits of integration for y, we have 3 multiplied by pi over 4 minus pi over 6. So, the surface area of the region directly above the shadow is equal to pi over 4. Moving on to problem 3. A lamina R occupies the region bounded by the curves x is equal to 4 minus y squared and x is equal to the square root of 4 minus y squared. We will see the graph in the next slide. If the density of the lamina at any point x, y is x squared plus y, we are tasked to set up the required iterated double integrals in Cartesian coordinates to compute the mass of R and the center of mass of R. This is the graph of the region bounded by the curves x is equal to 4 minus y squared and x is equal to the square root of 4 minus y squared. First, we have to find the points where x is equal to 4 minus y squared and x is equal to the square root of 4 minus y squared intersect these points. Before we proceed to decide whether to use vertical strips or horizontal strips. Finding the points where x is equal to 4 minus y squared and x is equal to the square root of 4 minus y squared intersect, we equate the two equations to each other. So we have y raised to 4 minus 7y squared plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, to make this easier, we'll let a is equal to y squared. Then, 
we have a squared minus 7a plus 12 is equal to 0. By factoring, we get the value of a equal to 3 or 4. Moreover, y would be equal to plus minus the square root of 3 and plus minus 2. From this figure, y is equal to plus minus 2 can be ignored. Then, using horizontal strips, we will proceed with the equations. Now, mass is equal to the double integral over r of the density function. Setting up, we have the double integral of x squared plus y dx dy, where x can be integrated from the square root of 4 minus y squared to 4 minus y squared, and y from negative square root of 3 to square root of 3. Moreover, we have the iterated double integrals for the center of mass as for the x bar, the double integral of y multiplied by x squared plus y squared dx dy with these limits of integration. And for the y bar, we have the double integral of x multiplied by the quantity x squared plus y squared dx dy with the same limits of integration. That is all for this video, guys. Thank you for watching.